everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J, and today I'm going to be doing a quick makeup look using all of my Refer brushes. And I wanted to make sure to have this video up for you all because Refer is having an amazing deal going on as well as a sale on all of their other brushes. So right now they are putting their core collection in their concept store. So that means that the core collection is going to be available for almost 50% off. And that is an amazing deal. They are great quality. They blend out nicely. They're super soft and they're durable brushes because I've had some of my brushes for going on two years now and they still feel just like new and I've washed them and I've used them. So I'm excited to share with you all the core collection again as well as reintroduce other styles to you all in this video. So I have all of the brushes that Ruffer makes except for one. Except for one, I am missing the 21 brush, but as soon as that comes back into stock, it's going to be mine. So I have all of their brush offerings that are currently available, and I'm going to show you all how to use them, and I'm going to use some products. So I will have all of my makeup details down in the description box. So I want to go ahead and hop into it. We're going to be talking about these brushes one by one. And the other great thing is, is that all of the other brushes that they offer are going to be 20% off. So you'll be able to get great savings on Refer brushes, which I love that. I love Refer. I think that their brand's mission is amazing. They are offering Japanese-made, handmade brushes for a fraction of the price that other brands offer. But, you know, I'm a fan of Fude in general. And so I have the other brushes and I have these brushes. And I love them all the same. I think that they all serve different purposes in my makeup routine. And I love these because these brushes are really nice quality, great work horse brushes when I want to get something done and I want to get it in I use these because I know that these brushes are resilient so I love that also a quick little mention they are going to have a holiday set that's coming out on October 20th and the holiday set is going to include three of their newest brushes now I don't have these brushes and I don't have a picture of the brushes yet so I'm not sure what they look like but they're gonna add on the number 23 24 and the 25 Okay, so I'm very excited about that. So I will definitely keep you all posted about that new launch when it drops. But for now, let's get into the core collection as well as their brushes that they offer permanently. And I hope that you all enjoy this video. Mwah. So I want to film a look using the refer brushes and I'm going to use the core collection as well as the other brushes that I have here. Let me go ahead and brush up my eyebrows because honey, child, sugar, they need something. So I'm just going to fill them in really quick. Lee. So I'm just shaking up my foundation. I'm going to use the Dior Face and Body Foundation and I'm going to start off with a little bit of 3N, but it's just a little, little, little bit light. Then I'm going to take a little bit of 4N, which is a little bit too dark. Preferably if they had a 3.5N, that would be me, but they don't. And I'm going to go in with the number 17 brush, which I really enjoy using this brush to just stipple on cream and liquid products. So it's a smaller brush, so it allows me to be really precise with my application. And I feel like this brush buffs it in as it goes. So even though it's a smaller brush, I don't feel like it takes me a long time to do my foundation because it really just blends in by itself. And I think that's really cool. So I am just going to take my time and buff this in. I don't want a whole lot of foundation today because it is a really chill day. So I'm just going to stop there. I'm going to take a little bit of concealer. I'm going to take a little bit of the Benefit Boing Concealer. Just a touch. I honestly don't want to do a lot on my face. I'm just going to blend this out using the same brush. And just press that in. And like I said, this brush is small, so it fits really nicely right underneath the crook of my eye. And this brush is really good because it doesn't leave streaks. It buffs it out and it doesn't absorb too much of your product. So I don't find myself going back in with more products where I already have applied some. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this and put it on my eyeballs. Because <laughs> I really want to cancel out some of the darkness here and some of the veins. I can see it. Ugh. Yes, come alive. Yes. And then buff out this little concealer I have right here in the center. 
of my forehead. So now I'm gonna do a quick little eye look using the Beba palette by Natasha Denona. And like I said, I want this look to be really, really just go with the flow, no muss, no fuss. So I have so many different blending brushes, but I'm gonna go in with the classic number one blending brush, just because I know I can get a nice blend with this and basically do my entire eye with it if need be. I'm going to lightly dip into freckle and I'm gonna zoom you guys in actually. Hey. Okay, so I'm gonna take freckle and lightly buff that in my crease. Like I said, I don't want to do the most today. So I'm just going to go back and forth with this color and this is going to be everything. It's going to be my crease, my transition, my everything. I really like this brush for this step because it is the right amount of fluff. It's a shorter blending brush so I have a lot of control over it and it basically just picks up that product and applies exactly how much you have on the brush. So I don't have to worry about it diffusing it too much and oppositely I don't have to worry about it applying too much and then having to go back and do extra blending. This is just like the perfect crease blending brush. It definitely has replaced my MAC 217, which I used to love and hold so dearly to my heart. I think that this brush is basically giving me that same vibe and I know I can blend out my crease really quick. I also am gonna dip into cocoa just a little bit and take a little bit of that on the outer corner and then blend it up towards the crease. So you can definitely do this step with a flat shader brush. But for those of you all who watch my videos, you know that I tend to like to do this step using my blending brush just because I feel like it helps diffuse out that outer corner a little bit better than just, you know, popping it on like this would. So I like to use the flat side of a blending brush and I don't want my blending brush to be too long and floppy. So again, this one fits really nicely in that area to blend out that color. Also this number 12, I mean, it's kind of boss. It is a larger domed, almost like a pencil brush, but not quite. So for times when I just want to have color just right here and right here only, I would go in with the number 12 brush to get that going because I love how compact it is, but this brush is going to apply a lot more products. So I wouldn't necessarily take this brush in the crease too often for my personal makeup style. I would specifically use this for the outer corner. I also wouldn't go in with it on my lower lash line too quick just because it's a little bit larger. And as you all know, I have the most sensitive eyes of all time. So if I put a big old brush at the bottom, a lot of times the shadow's gonna get in my eye and then there's your eye look. I also have a lot of other blending brush options. So if I wanted to do a more in-depth look and be more detailed with it, I would go in with a skinnier blending brush like the number 14 brush and I would get in there and I would really be detailed with how I'm blending out the crease. If I want to do like two or three different colors in the crease, this brush is perfect for that because you can really, really just apply just the color where you want it. And then these two blending brushes, the number 16, I actually am gonna use this one for my highlighter because it is bigger. But if I just wanted a wash of color, I would go in with 16 with no problems and just get a nice wash like if I want to do bronzer just in my crease sometimes this is the perfect brush for that because it's just like one and done move on and then as far as the number 15 brush is tapered so I can really get in there and again be pretty detailed with where I want my eyeshadow to be but with this brush since it does have that point I find that it applies the color a little bit more saturated than the number one brush does because it blends it out because it has a rounder tip. So I love all of these brushes for different purposes. Moving on from blending brushes, I'm gonna take my favorite brush that they make for the eyes and that is the number two brush. This is a flat shader brush and this reminds me of my beloved MAC 239, which they discontinued the natural hair and now they just have synthetic fibers and the synthetic fibers don't work as well. So that is where Ruffer saved the day and I have so many of these brushes, I'm constantly using them. They are always dirty and I love it because it lets me just pack on that eyeshadow and move on with what I have to do. So I'm gonna take a shimmery eyeshadow palette from the Beba palette and I'm thinking, I'm gonna go in with Monroe. And I'm just gonna take that and just apply it all across the lid and this brush just lets me sweep. If I want to pack, I can and get more pigmentation going. And I love this shade because it fits perfectly on my eye shape. 
Now, if you don't have as much eye real estate as I do, you can always go in with this brush still and you can be more precise with it. But I just like to take it and just swipe it all across for days like this when I'm just wanting my eye look to look, you know, just like a, a nice little sum sum, but not doing the absolute most. But I love, 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 love this brush because the bristles allow you to blend out their products. But if I want to pack it on to get maximum pigmentation, I can. Ooh, and I forgot about the number 13 brush. Now this is a really small brush. If I wanted to do a cut crease, I would definitely go in with number 13 and blend that out because it's gonna allow you to diffuse it and it's a bit stiffer. So it's really going to drive that product home and allow you to pack on eyeshadow without getting it everywhere. So I love that for precision. Having smaller brushes like that really are gonna make the difference in how neat your eye look is going to look. And that brings me to my next point, this number three brush. Now, I know I said number two was my favorite eye brush, but number three is like, it's, it's right there with it because number three is a really small pencil brush and I love it because it allows you to really get details as i keep mentioning right on the eye area and i love that for popping color on the inner corner as well as doing my lower lash line because like i said i have sensitive eyes so the smaller the brush the better so i'm not getting shadow everywhere so it helps me not get it in my eyes but it also helps me be more precise on the lower lash line to not have any fallout, you know, or minimize the fallout that I get. So I'm gonna take my face highlighter that I'm gonna use, which is Afternoon Snack Slash Mo Honey from Fenty. And I'm just gonna pop that right on the inner corner with the number three brush. And you see like, it's just going right where I want it to be. This is the smallest pencil brush that I have in my entire collection and I love it. So that's pretty much it for the top. I need to go ahead and set my under eye. I think today I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury powder and i'm going to use the number 18 brush which i love this brush for this step because it fits here perfectly but also i love this brush for applying my highlighter if i want my highlights to be a little bit more intense so i just go right in and i press this in and it just fits there so perfectly i love it you can also do this with the number 19 brush if you like but since it's a little bit longer I tend to like this one more so for my cheek area. The number 18 brush is the shorter variation. And I like that because I have a little bit more control. But both of these brushes are fantastic for the same purpose in my opinion. And then I'm going to go back to the core collection and take the number 5 brush and just set my entire face using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, which you all know is my holy grail face powder. And I just want a little bit because I just did a little bit of foundation. So I don't want to go too overboard with it but this brush is so fluffy and i will use this brush for all over face powder i'll use it for my bronzer i'll use it for my blush i'll even use it for my highlighter sometimes it's just a very versatile multi-purpose brush i'm gonna apply a little bit of eyeliner i'm gonna use the charlotte tilbury liquid liner just get that going So now I'm going to go back with Freckle and the small little pencil brush that I love so much and just take that all across the lower lash line. And I love it because I have never messed up my lower lash line using this brush. And it's the perfect amount of softness. So it's not stabbing my eye and it's blending out the products at the same time. And I just love, 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 love it. So... I just want this to be super simple. So now cheek, 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 cheeks, cheeks. So I want to go in with my bronzer and I have two different brushes that I like to do that with. So I could go in with the 04 bronzer brush if I wanted to be more precise and detailed with my bronzer. So when you apply bronzer using this brush, it's basically like you're going to apply it more concentrated. Or if I wanted to go in with the number 22 brush, you are going to really diffuse that bronzer out. So let me demonstrate. So same bronzer with the number 22 bronzer brush, which is much bigger. Okay. You see how it just effortlessly diffuses out. It gives you that nice, nice blend like that. Okay. You see how it's not really dramatic or anything like that. It's just the natural type bronze. This brush covers more ground. So it's really nice if you're in a hurry. You don't really have time to play. Let me demonstrate applying using 04. So this is going to apply the bronzer much darker 
much more concentrated, okay? And so with this brush, you're going to have to widen your circular motions to really diffuse it, whereas the other bronzer brush just diffuses it right off the bat because it's a wider and bigger and fluffier brush. So with this one, if you want to be more dramatic with your bronzer, go in with that because it's going to apply it a little bit darker. I personally prefer this brush for around the perimeter of my hairline because I don't like to use the big brush around there because I don't really have that much space up there anyways. And I find that the smaller brush doesn't get as much in my hair. And you know, I can kind of just take it to the side and sweep it down and I feel like it applies a little bit more neatly. So that's the difference between applying bronzer with both of these. But I also like to use number 22 for all over my face sometimes. So if I wanted to use all over setting powder and apply a little bit more, I'll go in with this brush. And I like to use the 04 for highlight as well as blush. So yeah. You could also go in with the number 19 brush for bronzer if you want to, but it's gonna give you a similar effect to the number four in that it's gonna apply a little bit more of that product. So if you want it to be more concentrated, then go in with a brush that has a little bit of a smaller brush head. And then if you want it to be more diffused, go in with the larger brush. Also, I'm gonna take the number 16 brush and I'm going to take this and apply a little bit of that bronzer on my nose because this is a really nice shape and size for nose contour. So this brush is also multi-purposeful. And then, like I said, if I wanted to, I could go in with it in my crease to diffuse that color. So, yeah. So for highlight, you can pretty much do whatever you want to do, okay? So you can apply it with the 04 brush. You just take the tip of it and diffuse that out. You could go in with the number 19 brush if you wanted to. You can go in with the number 18 brush if you wanted to. This one is my favorite, but it's gonna apply that highlight a little bit more concentrated. You can go in with number 16. You can be real precise with where you apply it, or you can go in with number 20 and fan it out, which is a traditional highlighter brush. It's your world with what you decide to do with your highlighter. I feel like that is like, the most non-specific brush needing products that you are gonna apply on your face. So I'm just gonna go in with number 20 just to demonstrate and fluff out that highlight. It just blends it out, it diffuses it out, just fans it on the face. You can kind of bring it around here if you like. And it gives you a nice, light, wispy application of highlighter. Like I was saying with number 16, you can be really precise with this though. If you wanted to do a little bit of highlight like right down your nose, you can you know, right here on the cupid's bow, if you want to apply a little bit more, a little bit more concentrated just right here, go in with the smaller brush that you can also use on your eyes. Kind of the same thing with blush too. You can just do what you want to do, but just know that depending on the type brush that you use, you may get a heavier application of blush. I tend to prefer brushes like the number five brush for my blush just because the bristles are not super compact, so it's going to allow me to really buff out that product and not apply a lot. And then the 04 brush, when I apply it with this, I'm always going to get a heavier application just because this brush is more compact. And then definitely with number 19, I'm really going to be laying it on there. So, so I prefer traditional powder brushes for my blush. This one is Inhibition by Tom Ford. I just like a nice wash of blush. I don't like a whole lot on most days, so yeah. Now let me add some lip gloss. And that's it, that is my final look using my refer brushes that I love so much. I love it, I love it, I love it. I so I hope this video was helpful in helping you decide if you want to purchase refer brushes and if you do, which brushes would fit you best in your makeup collection and your makeup style. So I love my refer brushes. I think that these are great brushes. As you all saw, all of these brushes are multi-purposeful. So you can do your entire face using these brushes and it is going to elevate your makeup game. So let me know if you all have tried Refer Brushes. I'm gonna leave our interview with Tom, one of the founders of Refer down in the description box for you all to check out and get to know more about him and know more about the company. And I just think their story is so cool and I think their brand is so cool. And I love how they are always looking out for customers and trying to do more to help us. Love it. I will have a link for where you all can purchase Refer Brushes in my description box. It is an affiliate link 
link so if you feel comfortable shopping it i will have it there as well as a code for you all to save the money off of the core collection in the concept store that is not an affiliate code but it is a code for you all to save that money as well as get free shipping so i hope that this helped anybody let me know what you all plan on picking up and i will check you all in my very next video which will be super super soon smooches bye